Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm. I'm Christy. I'm RJ. All right, this is May 27th, right? Yep. Weekly update. 137. Okay. And happy Memorial Day weekend. It's not really Memorial Day. We're recording on the weekend, so yeah, right? Yep. All right. So, you mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like glazed over. Uh, it's getting to be that way on the podcast, isn't it? Are you awake? 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 Okay. Not funny man today, huh? Well, I don't know. <laughs> okay, let's start with in the barn stalls. We have three chicks back in the barn, and that's because the temperature got down to what? 45 the other night? Something like that. And they were kind of getting picked on, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay, and then we've got the duck with the broke wing, and we put a girl in with her to keep him company. What happened? She started making a nest. And I think there's three eggs out there now. So maybe we'll have little duckies. It, it keeps him peppy. If you take her away or she gets out, he looks horrible. But if you leave her in there, it's like he's got something to live for, correct? Yep. So... We're just not. RJ and Lee went out there and checked it really good, and it it's healing. Um, we don't know about the the bone, the, the way it's going to heal though. You know what I mean? So what else we got going on? Reba and her two babies are separated off. How come? So we didn't feed them more. Yeah, they're still a little thin. We backed off feeding the ones on the pasture because they've quit coming over to eat, which means they don't need it. Um, so that means there's enough grass out there keeping up with them and all that stuff. But she's still kind of thin, huh? And we yep. sheared her, right? Mm -hmm. So hopefully that will help. We also warm some of them and just doing just starting to get them to go to grass. And it kind of, because it gives them scours, it makes us have to doctor a little bit, correct? Yep. Anything else in the barn stalls? Bio still has his knot, but it's doing better, right? Yep. It's actually starting to go down, or no? I think so. Okay. Um. Precious, the bull, who else? Anything? Coop? I'm trying to think of anything that's gone on. Uh, Durf's rib, has it gone back in, or do we know? I haven't looked in the last day or so. Yeah, we haven't looked in the last day or so, but it will go back in. We'll just go to using him, and, and it's just discomforting like you having a rib out. It's not huge. So, um, I did have to go get more protocols for Coop. Yep. Picked up her thing. <coughs> Alright, so mending fences. How many times do I fix the chicken coop? I only had to do it once. Uh huh. And did you do it properly? Yes, I did. Really? Yep. So, you went out there and you fixed it once. There was one side of a roost that had come down. Mm -hmm. And can you stop? Now I'm just trying to go through the mail. That's our layout. Yeah, come on. All right, so you fixed the one side of the coop, and then next time I went out there, what had happened? It was all down. Like the whole roost was. So, um, yeah. Ah, so you really didn't fix it, did you? I ended up going out there and fixing it again. So, and you helped me take it apart, but then the drill died, the battery. So, <laughs> we're not filming. Us filming. Come on. Come on. All right, let's get through this. Oh, no, I can't even get it turned off. Right through it. Well, I'm right through it. Right here, I'll give it the good old righty. Wow, right through Okay, back on track. All right, in the yarn farm, Reba got sheared, right? Mm -hmm. Um, I've been sure washing. I spun some last night, but it's still over there to finish being plied. So um, I have like just a little bit to go, and I got tired. The guys got home from rodeo, so I quit. Um, and what else? Anything else in the yarn farm? Nope. Okay, what do we got in the field? I actually got some plants started, and I have cucumbers coming up in a container, and I put a, uh, what do you call it, 
cage so they can climb up it. And we have some strawberry. Quit messing with the dog. I got it. it. Okay, don't tear up that cable, please. Um. Yeah, she's mad now. Uh. What was I saying? Will you pay attention and help me? Come. On. We're tired. Um. Strawberries have flowers on them. Right? So if the bugs don't get it, right? Will you stop, please? Talk. Talk. What do I talk about? Okay, we're on in the field. The garden. Yes. Your strawberries. I feed them to the goats because you left the goat in there last time. I did no such thing. Well, then you better explain to these people why I finally get things growing and then there's a goat in my garden this morning. Because some unknown subject did not close the gate. Who would that unknown subject be? I didn't go in that pen, so it would be Dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, so I have cucumbers. I've got... Um, I planted my watermelons out there, and I have never had problems before, but now all of a sudden the chickens are going over and scratching in that hay. And I mean tearing up. So I've lost a, a lot of the little plants to it, but I finally figured out how to transition them out. Now I just have to figure out how to keep those... Um, chickens from tearing it up. I may just go put me four T-posts up and some wire around it. And, but it'd have to be chicken wire, wouldn't it? That welded It'd be wire. tall, too, since you're able to fly over it. I know. That's what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm going to do. But anyway, the chickens are now my sore spot. Anything else going on in the garden? I harvested herbs, correct? Yep. Okay. Wait up. We are so tired. Mm. We'll get to that in the farmhouse, huh? Okay, next is in the farmhouse. But we wanted to add a new section. Where are we going to add the new section? After in the fields, right now? Yeah. Okay, what do we decide we're going to call it? I don't remember. I don't either. Medicine chat? Medicine? Medical bag. Yep. All right, in the medical bag. We're going to put that one in. Um, I got my herb club. And... I did some other things. Yeah, I have things to show. Um, first off, they sent this is a uh, they sent a nice list, and I actually laminated it because it gives you not only a list of the ingredients that they used, but it tells you what they help with. So um, let's see here. There's lemon balm. Raw oats, St. John's wort, passion flower, chamomile. I'm not even going to know that I say this one. Ricolia. R H O D I O L A. I don't know. Oregon grape, valerian root, go to cola, G O T U. Next word K O L A. Bacopa. Dandelion leaves, rosemary, and electri electrio. E L E U T H E R O. And this is the herbal mix, and it's a focus herbal mix. And for my, they do a $7 one where you just get one. But I did the $20 one, and you get three of these bags. Now, I haven't weighed these out. I did date them because, um, and of course, it tells you all kinds of stuff. When you first join the club, that's the club stuff. Now, when they when I first joined, and again, I laminated these so that I would have them, um, and they were just on paper. But they sent you these little cards, and, and I said little pages, look like this and then on each one um, this is some tips and now that they're laminated they kind of don't show up on camera but I'll tell you it goes through um, making syrup making infusion making tinctures I already knew how to do all that um, making herbal glycerites I'm not real sure 
how they're, they're I haven't read it all. And then there's, it, that one was regular time, and then there's fast time. Uh, apple cider vinegar tonics, general dosages, kid-friendly recipes, how to make candy. And then the, there's some questions and answer things. And then the last page is how to contact them and personal notes. So I did laminate these because if I ever lose my cards, I might actually want to use these. So, um, and my cards are just, I have my recipes on these little uh, index cards. So, um, huh? No, no, that's not. That's not. I dropped my pen though. Anyway, so, RJ, what else did I do? What did I do for the, um, Garden Market, which I made. Lotion bars? Yep. But I also made, I made some regular lotion bars, and then I made some um, energizing lotion bars, and then I made some um, repelling lotion bars, which the repelling help keep fleas and ticks away, and mosquitoes when you're outside, and um, so anyway, I made those. Right? I'm yep. sticking to the chair because I have shorts on. I'm sorry, it's hot. It's like 90 degrees yesterday. And it's just balmy today. So, anyway, so I did those. Now, what is this? Tell me what this is. I don't know what that is. Yes, you do. What are we doing today? That's very good. Mm hmm. I made these little bars. I, I took the premise of the bug repellent, right? Uh -huh. And we have called everybody we know, and the ticks are really bad in the horse's ears, correct? Yep. Come on, tell the story, how I did it, why I did it. So, Mom decided she was going to take and make some lotion bars to rub on the ears. Even a vet says there's really no ways to keep ticks off of, there's not front line for horses. And where do they get their ticks? Mostly in their ears. And? Manes. And? Armpits. Tails. Tails. This and they stink, guys. I pulled no punches because first off, why does that smell to you? I smell from here. <laughs> they smell. He's awake now. Look at <laughs> I put in every herb that I had that has any properties that will repel ticks. So, well, as a human, I wouldn't rub all those on me at the same time because they're kind of, some of them are kind of stout. Um, as humans, we want a pleasant odor. These horses, I don't think, will care, do you? Mm -hmm. And by making these small little lotion bars, we can rub it up and down the mane and tail and no spray bottle. That's the thing. Is half of them don't like spray bottle, do they? No. So we can take one of these, rub it up and down the mane and tail. If we flip it out of our hand and it ends up in the dirt, it's fine. It can go in the trash. Um, it literally took... I ate 75 cents to make each of these. Not even that much. Um, I'm rounding up. It was because I put more herbs in these, so it cost me more. But on average, the average lotion bar cost this size, which is half an ounce, um, cost about 50 cents to make. So, and I didn't do them in a big bar because <clears throat> when we're dealing with the horses, do we know how it's going to go? No. And if they flip that, I made enough. Yeah, you know, we have seven horses. And what did we decide we we're going to do? We're going to see if it works. Okay, how are we going to do that? We're going to take one and put it on and see if it keeps the ticks off. Okay, but we're also going to not do who? Uh, Ice. Yeah. Ice allows you to take ticks off freely. So we're going to use him as a control, and he's not going to have any of this. We're going to pull all ticks, make sure nobody has ticks today. Then we're going to take these and we're going to rub it all over everybody else, correct? Mm -hmm. And make sure that they work. Um, I don't know if there's an imbalance between the herbs. I mean, I just really substitute. I was like, oh. all right, half teaspoon of that one, oh, full teaspoon of that one. And I just concocted. It really was potions and lotions and concoctions because I just concocted. Um, they're pretty stout, stinky smelling, huh? Mm -hmm. But they should be fine for the horses. And we're just putting them 
along both sides of the main. We're going to get everything out of there and then we're going to put it along both sides of the main underneath and and then we're going to put it along the base of the tail after we get you know all the ticks out of that and then um, in their ears. We're going to actually lather it on in their ears, correct? Yep. Which it should be good because we're just rubbing. Just going to rub it in there, you know. And if one bar does all of them and they don't knock it out of our hand or whatever, more power to them. But if I'd have made a big bar and it had hit the ground, we would have been in trouble. Huh? Yep. So I made lots of little. And the plus side is I have lots of horsey friends. If they work, we could send some to Kevin to try and Trista and, you know. So this would be a good thing that we could pass on to our friends, correct? Mm -hmm. Alright, so I made that, and let's see here. It's got everything from cloves, garlic, the regular base, uh, onion greens, mint, thyme, rosemary, lemon balm. Yeah, it has pretty much everything, and it stinks. Not very pleasant, is it? So, and I just did them in an infused oil. So I just put all my herbs in my oil, and I infused it, and hopefully it should work. Right? Mm -hmm. All right. So that is our new, uh, we were sitting out medical bag, right? And we're going to do it right before the farmhouse. All right. There won't be in the medical bag every time, but when I get those herbs, um, like I said, this is a focus one, and I don't have the actual um, recipe for these mixes but I do have a good little reference sheet that tells me what is in it and I like the fact that they give me and it's just real simple it says lemon balm calming reduces restlessness enhances concentration improves sleep lessens uh, impulsiveness so I mean that's fine uh, oats raw it says nervous system tonic rich in vitamins and minerals, boost circulation, anti-inflammatory. So it's just a list and it tells what properties they're using it for in this context. It has some other little tips and stuff like that, but that's not what I did. Um, and it also has special instructions for this mixture so that the best way to use it, because you can use it any way you want, but they say, um, to make it as a tea, you take one third of a cup twice a day for best use. So, um, yeah, I like it. But anyway, this is going to be in our medical bag, and it's just going to be our herbs, right? So, and uh, anything else that I come up with. Right? <laughs> right now I'm on the lotion bar kick. I've actually been asked to do a demo of the lotion bars at uh, an OHCE thing, so... All right, in the farmhouse. Why are you so not awake? Hmm? Where you been? What you been up to? Who you been hanging out with? Me on a bunch of rodeos. Okay, and it started Thursday night, right? Yep. What time did you get home Thursday night? We didn't get home Thursday night. What time did you get home Friday morning? 4.35 o'clock. What time did you have to be to work Friday? 7. What time did you make it to work Friday? 8.30 on 8.30. 8.30. Okay. So, where'd you go? That was Thursday. This is actually Saturday. So, last night, what'd you do? We went to Sand Springs. We got home about 3 o'clock. So, doing much sleeping in between then? A lot of napping. That's why he's not so funny today. Because he's tired. So what did mom do while you were oh, yeah, open that? What did mom do while you were off gallivanting around? I don't know. Probably sat around and watched T V, did a little bit of nothing. What gives you that idea? The extra love seat in the front room? Yeah. Why is there an extra love seat in my front room? Jury covering it so I you know my own. First I took the leftover denim from the couch. Took 20 bucks worth of good old fashioned writ dye. That stuff's nasty, but it's because this was denim, I needed something really real. So we distressed it and then we um, 
dyed it, right? Mm -hmm. And I actually uh, made it blotchy, like took bleach, made a high concentration of bleach and water, took this outside, put it on the fence, and then sprayed it so that it gets that. I don't know, marbled kind of look, right? You want to yep. show it to him? I guess all I have to do is get up and move. Huh. Yep. Because here sits the, uh, love seat. Now, what is so special about this love seat? It's got Where a couch. Where are you going to sleep if you put a love seat in your bedroom? It's got a uh, bed in it. Yep, it's got a hide a bed in it. But here is, you know, over here. And that's the, now you have gray walls. And see, there you go. There you see it looks, it almost looks like the solar system space kind of thing. Blotchy and... So it's pretty cool looking. Yep. All right. So gray walls, mm -hmm. pink trim, purple couch, huh? Yeah. I, I got it's weird. It's my back. It's down. A little more to the right. Stop it. <laughs> He's like a big dog, ain't he? Okay, um, purple couch. Yep. And this is what you wanted, correct? You better clarify to everybody. Yeah. I know we're hot and sticky. It is really muggy here. So, but it's close to rain. It is. It's overcast, but it's just humid. It is what it is. It's very humid. So, all right. I've been working on the couch. I've been doing lots of lotion bars. Um. We've been worming some things. We've been finding a few sheep that have scours and kind of wormy. So we're going to go out there and work with them today, correct, and do all the horses. Um, and we might videotape working with the horses and see how they take this lotion bar. Are you being sexy? No, I didn't. Are you sure? Mm hmm You going to show everybody your chest here? No. Oh, <sighs> okay, in the farmhouse, off to, uh, on the porch, I have some that I spun, um, I just don't have it off of the thing, so, um, I guess I'll show that next time, because I really, we're tired, we really are. Market. Um, off to market. I haven't decided, what I might do is, um, our, this is in the making here. Our uh, Weebly site um, is who we get our, um, don't mess it up, he just wrote my walking wheel. Anyway, our Weebly site, which is who maintains our website, um, offers some things that we can put up there for sale. And I think I'm going to attempt to sell my lotion bars there. And pretty much, I'll just put up one size. You pick a flavor. That's it. Um, I had, come on. I have not checked to see if I can mail these in a, they'd be in a plastic bag, um, first off. And labeled and all that stuff. These horse ones are not. But I have not looked to see how much it would cost. I'm hoping just to be able to mail them for like a buck. Yeah, at 46 cents would be great. Or 47, whatever stamp is. But we'll see. It's half an ounce, and I'm going to get on and do that at some point and figure out shipping and handling on them. So, um, and I may make some larger ones. He's quit roping the camera. He's waking up. Can you tell? I'm going to tell about you put your feet on the ground if you don't behave. Nope. <laughs> he roped one more thing, and I'm telling. Yeah. Anyway, um, so we're going to look at putting it up there and then go from there. So what we might have is our sponsorships and then you just pick a choice. I think we can do it that way and then just have lotion bars and pick a, a choice and then, um, you know, that kind of thing. So I will investigate it and see how that goes. But And I will be doing that this week, I think. Right? Yep. So I am working more on the farmer's market with Trista 
um, but nothing major. Just helping set up. Uh, we come up with a couple ideas. We're trying to grow the market because there's only about 10 vendors and not all of them show up every week. So, um, I mean, we have a creamery, we have a nursery, we have like three or four people with personal gardens. We've got the community garden there. And then you've got me with lotions, potions, and wool, which the lotion bars went over amazingly. So, um, but we have a mix. We really do. But, uh, yeah, we just got to get it growing. So, um, we've come up with a couple ideas and, you know, we'll just go from there. But I've been trying to help. So, that's taking up most of my time. But other than that, that's about it, ain't it? Yep. All right, anything else? No. Okay. All right, going to be a short one. Everybody have a great, happy, and safe Memorial Day weekend. Make sure to eat a burger for us, right? Yep. And, uh, or two. Or two. <laughs> no, I want weenies. I like them blackened, really blackened, okay? So. I just like free food. <laughs> no, they're eating it for you. They're not sending it to you. Um. Yeah, so you still want to be just one burger for you or two? Eat as many as you feel. <laughs> for him. So. All right, we're going to get off of here, and we will see you next time, right? And he'll be more peppy, more lively. We won't be so tired, I hope. I'm going to tell anyway. I know, that's why I didn't, but I didn't rope anything I missed. So you can't tell. <laughs> I'm going to tell anyway. Bye-bye, folks. Bye, guys.